guys, welcome back to the Nighttime Podcast. Uh, we have Andy filling in for uh, Big Al this week. Welcome Big to the show. shoes. Big yeah, shoes. Huge, mate. Massive, massive. Got show one, Got round toys? one. Got any toys for us? Nah. Yeah, Al's <laughs> off uh, filming Toy Story 9, so <laughs> we'll see how he goes and uh, comes back next week. But. Uh, yeah. Big toy box for you to fill this week. Massive toy box. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so how's everything been, boys? Yeah, good, mate. Good. Yeah, good. Excited good to be good back week. for round one. Oh, mate, can't, can't wait. Friday night. Friday night. Friday night. Uh, mm. so, Friday night. Can't wait. Anyway, uh, we actually have a, a special guest in the uh, VIP lounge for tonight. So the special guest tonight in our nighttime VIP lounge is Mr. Damien McFarlane. <laughs> Hello, Nighttime Podcast. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh, sorry, correction, guys. We actually have two special guests tonight. Oh, nice. So, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, it. yeah, Damien. Uh, welcome to the team, mate. Most people might know Damien for the, the guy with the big flag. Yep, that's correct. That's me. That's Damien. Uh, Damien is actually joining our crew now. Um, we're going to be doing a, a weekly segment called For the Fans. Yes. Uh, thanks to Sports Power Newcastle. Yep. Each week uh, we're going to have a $50 voucher. To, you know, we're going to find a fan that we think deserves it or a fan mm-hmm. of the week. Yep. So if you're at the game, look out for, for us boys and Damo and send your pictures in as well and you could win a $50 voucher. Nice. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, Damo, uh, welcome to the show, mate. And, um, yeah, look forward to uh, seeing your flag on the weekend. No, thanks for having me. It's good to be on the crew. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's good to have you, mate. And uh, you'll be a regular on each week and, uh, yeah, have your own little for the fan segment and pick out a fan each week for fifty dollar voucher. Yeah, I wonder if I can put mine on. I'll put my beanie and scarf on and yeah, can, can flag. We do it? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Fifty dollar voucher. <laughs> definitely. Remember this face. Go yeah. buy some Asics. <laughs> so yeah, check out Sports Power Newcastle also for <laughs> yeah. all your yeah. all your great uh, sporting goods. Uh, everyone uh, that knows us here at uh, the podcast know we're all about the community and helping. Yeah. The uh, community for people that are in in need from time to time, and we got a young family um, from East Maitland. Uh, they got a young kid that's uh, a bit ill. It's got SMA. Um, the family there, Tia and um, Labelli, I think his name is. They're going through a bit of a tough time. They got a sick young boy. Yep. He's got that SMA. It um, it affects your movement, your swallowing, your breathing. Um, requires multiple spinal uh, injections, and they're costing like three hundred thousand dollars per needle. Three hundred thousand a needle. Yeah, and wow. nothing, Holy none God. of it's funded by government or anything like that. Yeah, so that's crazy. So uh, we obviously, do yeah. So we, we've started off. We want um, to see if we can get behind it and help. Um, you know, get some clubs involved too, because they I, I do believe their family uh, are very big not, um, footy for supporters, not just Knights, but Penrith. Um, the Dragons, um, there was a couple of clubs, so we'll see if we can get them all involved. But we want to start it, kick it off. Um, we have a signed Australian jumper by Wally Lewis. Yep. Uh, 2017 was, World Cup. To, yeah. It was donated it's to the good. show, so we would like to donate it to them to start off with. Um, they can auction it off and get yeah, some money to yeah. help yeah. out anyway. That's just to start. We'll, we'll, we'll help out in other ways we can too. And that, there's going to be a GoFundMe page up. Um, yeah, and there's a little video we're going to put up and you can have a quick look at it, but I'd just like to say shout out to them and hang in there guys, uh, yep. the rugby league community will help out where they can and um, us here at night time, myself and the producer actually know the grandfather of this uh, young kid, yeah. Um, yep. so yeah, yep. we'd like to yeah, <laughs> do what we can, sing eh? out and get do what we it. can and get behind yep. it, so mm-hmm. I'd like say if you've got any merchandise, anything, even throw in a couple of bucks to the GoFundMe page. Um, it's all direct through them, so you'll be doing on direct with them, not with us. But if you've got stuff that you want to help donate, you know, we're more than happy to pass it on as well. So, yep, good stuff. Seamless juicy boys. Man, uh, there wasn't much last week's game, really. It was just 
it was a week off for us, so uh, yeah. yeah, we'll just Nothing get straight into it. Round one, so the team's come out this afternoon, mm. uh, the Knights team and the Bulldogs. The Bulldogs yeah. have got a pretty strong team this week. Yeah, yeah. You look at them on paper, we've got to be on yeah, our game. They're, they're going to be hard to beat, to tell you the truth. Like, yeah. I, I know we've struggled the last couple of games against the Bulldogs, yep. so it's... I thought, what is it, last two home games, I think. We, we haven't beaten them home. I think yeah. the last time we yep. beat them was Magic Round a couple of years ago up in Brisbane. Yeah, it was. Yep. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? It's going to be a game, tough man. ass. Tough so. game. If we look at the stats, like, I think it's 24 times um, the Knights have played the Bulldogs at Marathon. Yeah. It's all uh, McDonald uh, Jane Stadium. I think it's 12 all, so. Oh, yeah. 12 nice. each. 12 yeah, right each. So, so we well, look at it. Game. We've got the forward pack to do it. Oh, yeah. And oh, we've got the halves. So you got we, Kurt, we, man, like, unbelievable. unbelievable yeah. I yeah. mean, we just we just got a Bulldogs are coming in now. They they're going to be high. They got hopes, a point mate. To prove. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. They're, they're new coach. Yeah. They, they've got new signings. I think they've got a couple of new players there. I think mm. yep. Corey Allen. I think he's going to be the one. Massive. To watch. I think it. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to watch him. Have, have a look at their back line. If we look at their side, I'll do them first. They've got Corey Allen at fullback. They've got uh, Nick Meaney, old Knights yeah, boy. Yeah, uh, Will Hoppawadi and Nick Kotrick in the centre. He's yeah, a good a pick up yeah, for the Bulldogs, Nick Kotrick. Yeah. Uh, Dylan Watini is uh, Zalesniak on the wing. And then they've got Jake Averillo in the centre, sorry, in the halves with Kyle Flanagan. Mm. Kyle Flanagan's a new addition to them. Yeah, be interesting yeah, to see what he yeah, brings. He good kicking game. Big Ogden in the front row with um, Jake Hetherington, another picker. They've picked him up from the uh, from the Panthers. Yeah. Spent a bit of time with the Warriors last I'll year, but he's, he's come from the Panthers. Well, he, he, Mate, he he's must, a bit of a Barney, like he, yeah. similar sort of. Mm. And he must be a good player because he's knocked <coughs> Neil and Neil and Dar- Dylan, Was it Dylan yeah, Darpa yeah. so, to the bench? Yeah, so. 100%, so. yeah he, he's actually. I've seen a bit of a bit of him play with Penrith last year. Yeah, yeah, he's got a bit of mongrel in him. Yeah, then they got Sione, Sione Katala at, um, at nine. Adam Elliott and Corey Waddell. They've picked up Corey Waddell from, mm. from Manly, I think. Um, On paper, it's a good And team. then Josh Jackson at lock. Good side. Mm. I, I don't know about this Brad um, Dietz. He's a young guy that, um, that's... Come out of his debut? Is he? I think, it's a, de- I think yeah, it right. is a debut for him. I, I haven't seen anything off him, so I can't comment yeah. on him but good luck to him on the, on Friday night I yeah, hope he doesn't mm. go too well but nah. good luck to him on his debut <laughs> Happy for um, the first run. No. yeah and then they've got uh, Raymond uh, oh. Fatana Mariner on the bench he's a fair player and Dylan Napa. Dylan Napa. Um, I can't believe they knocked him back to the bench so it's like I said before oh, yeah. strong bench strong bench yeah. so I'm yeah. they're a good team mate it's not going to be an mm. easy game we're no, going to be up for this be. one no. so and then a Tony I think his name is I don't, I don't know much about him either to be honest so we have a look at our side. This came out the, uh, this afternoon as well. At fullback. Well, I don't think there was too many surprises in the side. May- mm. Maybe one or two. But, two, yeah. Uh, Tex Hoy at fullback. Wish him well. I've probably said a little bit about Tex in the last couple of weeks. It's I've copped a bit of flack. Um, Star Tower on the wing with uh, Gemmett um, Shibasaki. So interesting selections there. Yeah, mm. yeah, uh, Anari Tuala and Bradman Best in the centres. It's mm. not, not a bad Speaks centre. And, yeah. Ra- and Rani Tuala, he, he, played, he, played, he was another player like Kirby yeah, last right. year. He yeah, played definitely. really well. So. Definitely, yeah, definitely. So the, the key is their halves, I think. Yeah, yeah, the interesting thing there is Heimel Hunt's been named on the extended yeah, bench. So yeah, I'll I'll be be playing Ducks and Drake, Ducks and Drakes, or could yeah. be, yeah, well, still, still injured. He's had a bit of a hamstring problem, I think. But um, I like the number 13 too. Yeah, 13 goes all right. Mm. But yeah, right. but we'll keep going through it. We've got Kurt Mann, our favourite player at the moment. He's yeah. uh, he's in the six mm. with Mitchell Pierce at halfback. Ford Pack. Yeah, oh. speed picks itself, I think. And it's, uh, um, DSAF, 100th game. 100th yeah. game. Running the side captain, yeah. captain yeah. with yeah. Um, Jaden Braley. Uh, Daniel Cle- uh, sorry, David Clemens, the other front rower. Then we've got uh, Tyson Frizzell making his Knights yeah. debut. Yeah. Can't yeah. wait for Good that. that. Yeah, that's yeah, going to be awesome. That right edge. Awesome, yeah. He's in the uh, in the back row with Mitch Barnett um, and Smithers' main man Connor Watson playing lock. So I it's, think he, I it's think a that's fair that's pack. A fashion man, honestly, eh? yeah, the old fashion guru. <laughs> yeah. I think honestly, I think um, the fashion guru Connor Watson could become like. Um, South um, Cameron Murray. Cameron, Cameron yeah, Murray, yeah. 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 Yes, he would. He, he's he's that would. nuggety kind of player. And yeah, yeah, he, and he, he, can, he can do the hard runs time. as well. Yeah, yeah. So and you think got, you've no got no problem doing that. Yeah. Jaden Braley just wants a bit of a breather. Yeah. It just hangs back a bit in the play. The ball kind of yeah. slots into, into, in, in, into, into, into yeah. the nine. Yeah. 
you know. Yeah, he's, uh, he's, got that, he's got that experience from last year defending mm. in the middle as well, well playing yeah. nine. So last and heaven forbid years, so. no injuries happen. Yeah, hopefully he stays fit. Yeah, we need that's him right. fit. That's uh, right. We need that elusive running game that he's got. So yeah. he, he's really quick. And yeah. being at lock, it gives him that roam and he can roam wherever you want. That's the best position, I reckon, on a rugby league field, playing lock. Yeah. Because you can roam wherever you it's want. It's all... Yeah. You're in the middle, you can go on... Yeah, it's it's a good position I, to play. I'd yeah. like to... um, Yeah, I'd... I think our bench looks pretty good too. Yeah, we're going yeah, to that. We've got, got another another forwards. another debut for the Knights. We've got Jesse Sue making his debut. Oh, yeah, yeah. Comes from the Bulldogs, so yeah. a big game for him against his old, old club. club. Yeah. Uh, spent a bit of time at the Tigers before that. He's he's a handy pickup. Um, Jacob Saifidi. Then we've got Josh King. Good mm. to see him back in the side. Oh, yeah. And then uh, young Brady Jones is, like is on the bench as well. So he's, yeah, it's yeah. a pretty well balanced bench. I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah looking good. So I'd say he might be coming on for Connor. I'm not too sure. Might yep. be a bit of interchange. In there, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 yeah, you can also use Connor for the back, a bit of a backline shuffle oh, if need be, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I, I like the side, yeah. It's um, real I think we've got the forward pack. If our forward pack matches it with the dogs, uh, we're in for a chance, yeah. 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 And you know, like I said, I can't, you know, say it enough. Kurt yeah. Hand, ball, ball uh, running, and that he's just, I think he is the key to us this year yeah he's running game. um yeah, direct yeah. he's so direct like, that, that's that's where he's so dangerous the yeah. the way he runs the ball like last year getting into that backfield now the only thing with it now once he gets into that backfield we need support yeah mm. we need those Definitely. other players centers wingers we need them getting yeah. in there yeah, supporting him that's right the yeah, fullback. Fullback. yeah and we need him roaming like kp yeah. does yeah. yeah have you noticed that kp yeah. where, where is he he's yeah. right behind that that's favorite right. ball yeah so I've, if tex is like that get kurt man and he gets into the backfield and you've got tex hoy running with him yeah now we've got something going on here or even bradman yeah. Right. If he links up, goes out wide, and Bradman yeah backs him up, and you get you're not going to stop Bradman's. Yeah. So you another know, thing too, like heaven forbid, I don't want to see any injuries. But say Tex gets injured, I'd like to see Stafford Teller at the back. Yeah, fullback. Mm. Yeah, right. Well, I was yeah. going to ask you about that. That's that's yeah, been well, my he, thoughts, and, and that, that was the, the, the team I um I spoke about a couple mm. of days ago when we met. I, I, I never forget Tex. I had Stafford. I had, had Stafford Tower no, fullback. fullback. Well, in the juniors, With, when he played juniors, he was a yeah, fullback. Yeah, yeah, so, mate, he, yeah. He, he, he knows him. he knows the position. He played so. play for the junior Kiwis at fullback. No, mate. Yeah, so yeah, kid, kid can play. He's a good player, mate. That that was my thoughts. If he gave Stafford a run at fullback and then um Hunt on the wing, just because of his pace. Oh, yeah, yeah. He just offers that a little bit more. I think Tex is a little bit, I guess, one dimensional. Sometimes he moment. might play the, the. He's got the, the show and go. I just yeah, haven't yeah. seen his passing game yet. I'd like to see that. I just like with um, Stafford, I like the pacing. He's, he's oh, a machine. Yeah, he's got it. He, he did mean, it in the trial yeah. against Melbourne yeah. when, they, when they went wide. If he was running yeah. after me, I'd just give up. <laughs> he's, oh, sorry, he's, you got me, you got me. He's, he's got some pace on him, and that's what you want in a fullback. Well, yeah, or a winger, or. Yeah, look at all your good fullbacks. Yeah, they got pace, pace to yeah. it. Yeah. But yeah. anyway, that, that so that's that's the team. team We're in for a good right. clash, mate. That's couple, two good sides there. So yeah. Yeah, six o'clock, Friday night, McDonald's. Can't wait. Yeah. That's the one. Can't wait. And yeah, look forward we, to it. We next. should throw that out to the fans too. Throw some comments down the bottom. Yeah. What, what do you think? It. What do you think of the team? Yeah, let, that's let it. us know your thoughts on that. So that's the one. Well, Smith is mailbag. No, it's back. It's back. We got a couple there this week. Well, actually, I think. I have to talk to one of our producers, Gary, but I think we're going to have it start have a prize for Smithers Mailbag of the Week, I believe. Oh, archery. Nice. Yeah, archery and uh, feral archery from Rutherford. Feral archery from Rutherford are going to come on board and give us a, a voucher for Smithers Mailbag Question of the Week starting next week. Yeah. So yeah. get them on in. So. Yeah, thank you to them. Yeah, thank you. Oh, well, the first one I got was. Um, do we get rid of the scrum with the new rules? That's from Stephen Crawford. Do you get rid of the scrum? Um, my opinion, no. The no, scrum, I the scrum is a big part of the game. What I'd like to see is a bit of contest in the yeah. scrum. Yeah. Instead of it being fed in the second, second row, row, it's got to be oh, fed. fed. Like hey, back in the old idea. day, mate, they fed it straight down the middle, mate. And then the hookers can strike for the ball, which I think the hookers still can strike mm. for the ball, but yep. you can't push. Here's an idea, so it's fair. Let's bring the push back. Let's have, take a little bit of the AFL involved, right? AFL referees do the bounce and stuff. Yep. Why don't the referee it. feed the scrum? Yeah, yeah. It's not going to be biased then, is it? Yeah, no, it's not. It'll be fed in the middle. Gives It'll the hookers, be... yeah. Yeah, well, that's, cool that's, uh, that's a good one, but yeah, it's. 
Yeah. Come on, well, come on Peter Vellandis. Well, these what days do you think? been more about slowing the game as we give the forwards yeah, a chance yeah, to yeah, rest. Yeah. rest. Yeah. But, but it's a vital part of the game. It's yeah, always yeah. been in yeah, the game. It's, it's always of, been there. That's, it's, 100%. that's your halves yeah. and your five eights job. They want to give your forwards a rest. Yeah. Yes, that's right. So and that's they want to get us touch. Yeah, I think it should stay. That's personally, but I'm not running the NRL yet. So, yeah, it's a key word. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, a few yeah. figures I'd like to change. But anyway, like uh, 6 o'clock Friday night games at Newcastle, yeah, yeah, we'll get rid of them. But uh, anyway. No, we'll be there. That's oh, we'll, be there. <laughs> we'll be there. Anyway, the second one was well, it was a bit of a thing to us, actually. I was very impressed with the art design you guys did at the Fan Day. Do you have other designs? That is from Margaret at Lambton. Okay, yeah, Margaret, the poster, the poster with mm, uh, Chief you, holding up and yeah, Joe, the yeah, Johns Brothers. Good. Yeah, that was pretty mm. good. Yeah, oh, so, yeah no, I'm sure the uh, I'm sure well, our art designer the will be studio, working on that. If you look at the studio, have a look around. So yeah, mm. we, we've yeah. got it in us. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, no, there'll be more coming. There'll be more yeah. coming, Margaret. So that's uh, not a bad question. Now, um, our uh, artist crew there. Behind the scenes, we'll get on to that, and yeah, maybe perhaps you could uh, they could send in who they want. Yeah, good idea. Oh, I'm yeah, telling you, the there, comments there's, below. There's mm. one, there's one I'd like to show, and it's over there in the corner of KP, yeah. and it is a it's a pearl. Oh, we might record in yeah. the studio and put them up there for yeah, them to see. No, but yeah, yeah, no, let's um, yeah, end of the day, like we say. This show is for the fans, so whatever you want, let us know. Yeah, and yeah, we'll see we what us, we can come up with. Comments, let us know what but we want. Once yeah. again, that's Smith's mailbag for the week. <laughs> All right, guys, got our first guest on for the uh, for the year, none other than uh, Knights um, half Kurt Man. Welcome to the show, Kurt. Hey boys, how's he going? Yeah, good, mate. Good, mate. It's an absolute pleasure to have you on. Stoke. Nah, honour to be on. Mate, yeah, no, first VIP guest for the, for the year, and uh, <laughs> won't be the last time we'll have you on, mate. Yeah, always welcome with us. Yeah, uh, I have to pop in sometime. Oh, that'd be awesome, mate. But anyway, um, we'll just have a bit of a chat and get to know, get the fans to know a bit more about Kurt, eh, hey, guys? Yeah, before we start, I think somebody had a birthday last week, so we'll say happy birthday and yeah, mate. all the best. <laughs> happy birthday, mate. Yes, thank you. Too easy. So you debuted for the Storm, mate. Uh, how was it down there with the Storm? Um, yeah, it was a pretty good spot to live, eh? Melbourne, Melbourne's a great city, and um, you know, the, the club that I played at is a pretty pretty well-renowned club as well, and you know, especially me being, being a Queensland kid as well, I got to play with some of my you know, childhood heroes, you know, Billy, Cooper and Cameron. Um, got to play alongside all those blokes in my debut game, so it was something pretty special. Yeah, it would be, it would be. Yeah, I think it shows too, actually, in his game. Personally, I think, mean, you know, it showed that he, down at the storm what he brought to us as well. Yeah. So, so what, what was that process like? You were playing um, NYC at the Knights. You had a couple of years here, then went, went to the storm. What, what was that process like, um, transitioning from Newcastle into the, the storm system? Um, yeah, it was it was, it was different, eh? Because you know I was here and I was playing twenty, so I was working at the time as well. Um, I was an apprentice electrician while I was in Newcastle, so I was pulling cables and that, and I'd go to train in the afternoon, and then um, going down there, it, it was a full time gig, so you, know, you don't work and um, footy sort of becomes your life. So uh, adjusting to that was was something a bit different, you know. You, you've got a lot of spare time, and um, you, know, you you got to really look after yourself in that sort of spare time you can't do a lot of things and you, you can't do a lot of things that other people are doing as well so um, yeah, that was probably the, the most difficult aspect of you know, going from under 20s into the, the full-time sort of role. Yeah awesome man. Um, honestly uh, where do you see yourself playing? What position this year? Where would you, Kurt, where would Kurt like to play? Um, always said 5-8 probably um, my best position you know, last year the best games of footy I played were, were when I played five eight, and that sort of been the same, um, you know, throughout my career. Anytime I've sort of played six, I've always played my best footy. So, you know, if it was possible, you know, playing five eight would probably be you know, my most preferred position. Yeah, Team, teams came out today. You're five eight, so it's stoked. Yeah. Looking forward to seeing you. Yeah, yeah. Friday night. Yeah, so good, mate. Can't can't wait to play. I'm absolutely sick of training. I've been training for. It's, it's been a short and pre-season as well, so I'm um, yeah, absolutely yeah. sick of training and I just want to get out there and play some footy. Nah, 
Yeah, uh, last year, mate, um, hands down, mate, you were our best player yeah. last year. Uh, uh, just the progress from how good you were playing, what what, what inspired you to, to play that well? What, was there anything that gave you a boost to, to play? Um, yeah, well, I had a fair bit of stuff going on with my old girl at home. Um, yeah. Our mum was sick and I looked at her, I lost mum about three months ago in the off season. So, um, sorry, sorry to hear that, mate. No, that's, that's all right, mate. Um, yeah, but you know, she was the she was the one that sort of took me to all the games and that when I was a young fella, and um, she'd ring up after every game, check on me, and, and see how I was going throughout my whole career. So, um, you know, I, I sort of wanted to do something special for her, and uh, that, that was sort of a big driving point last year. And then to have the new coach Adam come in, um, I was pretty close to Adam down at Melbourne. I had him for a few years down there, and he sort of took me under the under his wing uh, when I was there, and. Um, so when I found out he was coming as well, uh, you know, I, I love playing for him and, yeah. you know, if I could, I'd, I'd like to play for him for the rest of my career if that was possible. Yeah, nice. Well, well you certainly yeah. did do something special for your mum, mate. I, uh, I reckon she'd be out there pretty proud of you. Yeah, yeah well, don't worry. She used to, she'd, she'd tell me when she was proud of me, but she'd also tell you the other, <laughs> if you didn't have too good a game, she'd let you know about it. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm looking for. Yeah, that's right. Um, What's it like playing in front of a Newcastle crowd, mate? What's that, uh, you know, when you run out? What's, describe that feeling. Oh, it, it's pretty special. It's not like, you know, I can't really try to think of another place where I've been where it's similar to, but you know, it, it's got its own sort of vibe and it's it's pretty special, I, I guess. I don't think there's many other teams, you know, outside Brisbane who sort of get the crowds that we do mm, uh, yeah. to the games and the people here, they the way they get behind the team, you know, it's pretty good to see. And um, I think our coach always says that we've sort of got a, uh, you know, a, an influence on how people feel during the, you know, we, we lose and um, kind of puts the whole town in a bad mood. So a, <laughs> we, we've got a big influence on, on how people roll into work on a Monday, he always says to us, so there's a lot of responsibility on us to perform well for the um, other people who come out and support us every week. Does it give you a goosebumps, mate? Like the hair stand up on the back of the neck when you run out? and Is it that kind of feeling, sort of? Is it like Oh, that? yeah. Like, yeah, definitely. Yeah. When we always go out, I always, if you watch me, I'll, I'll run out and I'll sort of take a couple of, about 30 seconds just to like, I'll do like a full circle, look around every side of the ground, just, okay, just to soak it all up. And um, when we're playing at home, it's crazy. There's always so many people here and it's so loud too. Um, yeah. yeah, so it's always a good feeling to do it at home. Yeah, the the Newcastle great. chant. Yeah, the Newcastle yeah, good chant is it? Going yeah, yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, and that too. Yeah. The, 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 obviously, you would hear that on the ground. Like when you hear that chant, what, what's that like? Like the, the, it'll give you that boost. Is, is it like that? Yeah. Um, you know, there's, there's nothing better than you watch Barney or someone fly out of the line and whack, whack some bloke, yeah. and then the whole crowd just the whole crowd just goes mental. And then you got DSAP coming next; he's flying off the line trying to kill someone, and then it sort of just snowballs. Eh? Everyone, like, I think the crowd sort of fires the boys up a fair bit, eh? and <laughs> maniacs, maniacs just coming out of the line everywhere. Yeah, that's a good work. Who's your toughest opponent you've ever come up against, right? Um, what player or, or team? Uh, player. Player? Yeah. Well, there's, there's a few. Um, big Jason Tomalolo is pretty hard to handle oh, you know, yeah. when he's when he's coming off the back fence. He's taking <laughs> off and, um, yeah, running on the edge. Mate, just in my second game of first grade, I was about 82 kilos playing in the centres and we played against South Sydney. And um, Cooper Cronk's kicking ball downfield. Greg Inglis has picked it up, like about 40 metres away from me, and he just like stared me straight in the eyes. And I was like, oh, he's run straight at me. <laughs> <laughs> he, he did not move. He just had his eyes locked at me the whole time. He just ran dead straight and absolutely steamrolled me. Yeah. It was like my second game, so he, he was another bloke. It was pretty hard to handle. Yeah, legs uh, and elbows, knees and elbows. Oh, yeah. 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 I, 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 I think I know the back. I was doing summers all day. <laughs> I think we know the answer to this next uh, question, but uh, who's got the weirdest pre-game, you know, ritual? Well, why is it long Yeah. 
<laughs> oh, the heavy metal. He's just, I don't know. He, he listed there. Yeah, he listed to some like screamo music or something <laughs> in his locker. And the the first game when I got here and we played against, it was dark at home. That was two years ago now. I was in the locker room and he's screaming in the corner. Are you all right? Like I was asking some of the boys. Is this what he, yeah, like, yeah, he does this every game. I'm used to it now though, but I think it's a bit odd for you know, like Frizz or someone who hasn't seen it before and then he, he sees him doing it. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. 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 Going back to your junior days, uh, Winton Devils up there in Queensland. Uh, have you yeah. had anything to do with that, your junior club since, like, or, or since you, you know, you're growing up or anything like that? Um, I get out there a little bit still. My, my old man still lives in Winton, so my dad and brother, they still live out there. So um, yeah. I, I was out there in the off season, got out there for a little bit, but I sort of get out there when footy season's over for them. Oh, so um, yeah, yeah. not a whole heap, you know, I'll, I'll help out whenever I can. And if they ever get in contact with me and, and need something, you know, I'll, I'll always you know, give them a hand there with that sort of stuff. But um, I usually be sort of miss the end of season, but a lot of my mates still, play footy out there and, and that, so I always catch up and have a beer with them when I'm back. Yeah, nice. That was another question. I was going to ask you your favourite holiday destination, so that'd probably be it, would it? <laughs> oh, I don't know if that'd be my favourite holiday destination. <laughs> <laughs> it's about, about 42 degrees out there today. So yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm hearing Think you. of a lot better places. I'll tell you what, mate, though, our air conditioner in the studio is not working the night, so it's about 42 degrees here <laughs> <in> now. <air>, so. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we got one of the blokes on the on the uh, on the bike power on the generator. So <laughs> <laughs> anyway, mate, I um, oh, yeah yeah I honestly think Kurt is uh, one of the keys to to our success this year. Oh, yeah, 100%. for sure. Yeah, and, yeah um, five eight there. You're, you were the pinch. The, the pinch yeah yeah for sure, mate. Last year, just um, the way you were running the ball, and and as we lost the injuries, the, the, just the utility style that you come into. I think I think you said that you do anything for the team. So, like, mate, to have guys like you on the side, that, that's what Newcastle inspires, and 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 that's what lifts us, you know. So, mate, I'm glad you I'm glad you're back with us. And mate, to yeah. tell you the truth, this year I hope you just carry on with the way you played last year, and I just hope you have a stellar season, mate. So, yeah, cheers, man. Yeah, man. Who, who I can't wait mean? to. Who do we need to look out for this year? What, uh, what young blokes are coming through that you reckon are going to step up? Ooh, there's, there's a few, eh? Uh, well, everyone's obviously seen uh, young Dom. Mm. Yeah. You know, Dom Young at, at, you know, in the trials and that. and um, you know, He's pretty exciting. He's a, he, he surprised me. You know, he's a pretty quiet, uh, spoken bloke and sort of keeps to himself. And uh, see him go out there and they showed a fair bit of aggression, which you'd, you'd never see that, at, that from him at training. He's, he's pretty timid standoffish bloke but um, I think when he crosses that white line he might be a different sort of beast so um, he's going to be one to watch out for uh, I think if he's in game time uh, another young bloke uh, Simi Simi's been unreal at training and uh, yeah he's from where he was last year to where he's come to this year uh, you know, I think he'll be pretty pretty close to playing some first round this year as well he's been named on the extended bench to this weekend as well so it's a good Good indication of where he's yeah, at. Yeah. So, yeah, good, good on him. Yeah, he, he's not. He's definitely not far off here. He'll get some games on this year. I'm not yeah. Yeah. So, uh, what about um, is Braden Musgrave? I've seen him in the trials there. He went all right. Where do you think he's not far about making debut on this year? Or yeah, yeah, Muzzy's definitely a chance. Um, I think Adam was really impressed with him in the trials. You know, he, he, he said that in the meetings and. Um, you know, Muzzy was playing for Cessnock last year and uh, he's been brought back and he was with, with the Knights the year before that but had the year off to play for Cessnock and he's been brought back in so um, yeah I think he's he's definitely not far off either he, he played well in both, in both trial games the Storm and the, and the Cessnock trial so um, he'd definitely be a, be a talking point for uh, the coaches as well Lee, going into a few games That one I'm looking forward to seeing before we get into it this year, is Brad and Bass. Oh, yeah. Or should we call him oh, Brad and Beast? The Brick and Beast. Yeah. How's yeah. the thighs on the We, we, we just call him the Brick. <laughs> yeah, he's uh... a. Yeah, can dance too. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, you like dancing, don't you, eh? Oh, you feel the way. He goes all right. Yeah, right. Yeah, even KP, they you know, get in on the dances. Yeah, yeah, yeah. very good. Cool. One thing I'd like to see yeah. with Kurt, Kurt, but I'd like to see him 
run up the line. I reckon he's got the ability to, to go for all, you know, That's run true. up the line. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you know, so. Like last year was a good example of that. Yeah, how you could just break the line so easy and get into the backfield and, oh, mate, it was it was good to watch, actually. It, like, it made everyone in the grandstand stand up, especially, too, when they did that. Uh, yeah, it was good. Yeah, run, I think um, Adam sort of spoke to me at the start of the year and that's the strongest part of my game is running the footy, so that's that's what he wanted me to do. And um, just picked three things for me to focus on. That was one of them. Mm. Um, yeah, and he just, he just focused on those things and he'll play each week. Yeah, no, mate, I, honestly, I take my hat off to him. I think he was our best player by oh, far. Oh, hands you know, hands so hands you're a knight now, mate, and you're, you're going to be a knight for a long time. So if any club is looking to get you, they can just get their hands off you. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, mate, we'll wrap it. Mate. We'll wrap it up there, mate. We won't keep you. Um, let you get back to your young family and that. And um, we'll appreciate your time tonight and uh, get you in a, on the on the studio as uh, soon as we can. And look forward to seeing you on, on uh, Friday night, mate, with yeah, a, a first victory. Give it to them. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, mate, too easy. Uh, can't wait to see you all there, eh? Yeah, no, no, I'll, I'll, I'll be out of here. I'll be out of here, eh? Oh, you, <laughs> uh, you, you will, mate. You'll hear us. You'll hear us. Don't no <laughs> worry, buddy. Mate, all the best and um, good yeah. luck for the season, mate. Cheers for coming on the show too, buddy. Uh, cheers, mate. Thank you. Uh, welcome back, and uh, our next uh, segment for tonight is uh, we have a give a uh, draw for the Abermain Western Hawks Old Boys. Um, come to us and want us to draw their uh, signed Knights. Uh, nine jersey, I believe. So, nice. over to you, Damo. Uh, you can yep. do the draw, Burrow. Right. Brother, you ready? Yeah, let's go. Ready. Eighty-five. Number eighty-five. Eighty-five. Oh. 85. Oh. There we go. Eighty-five. Number 85. eight. Has that one? You've won this beauty. Number eighty-five is Shiny. Shane. Is it Shane Puller? Shane Puller. Shane oh. Puller. Congratulations. You are the winner. Yeah. Well yeah. done. Congratulations. Just yes, so we can uh, say you have it there too, Shane Puller. If you don't want it, we'll have it. But uh, <laughs> yeah, you, you won the all. winner, mate. Yeah, you yeah, just won a nice night's nice, nice, nine good jersey. Guys. Good oh. stuff. Frame Wish uh, and uh, have a mate rest in a good year this year too. Good luck, boys. Yeah, good luck, yeah. boys and, uh, Girls and yeah. yeah. yeah no. We'll be uh, doing a bit with them this year, helping yeah. them out and stuff. So uh, awesome. Well done. Good job, guys. Well done, boys. Uh, there's the draw and. Uh, You'll be in contact there soon with the uh, the club. We'll get in contact with you, and you can pick up your jersey. Sensational. Not a lot really to talk about. This I, might, I might raise one issue just uh, before we came on the air tonight. There was a little bit of news out of the night that uh, young Phoenix Crosland yeah. found himself in a little bit of trouble. trouble he's, yeah, right. Looks like he's suspended for one game. Copped a nine hundred dollar fine. It's uh, been an incident back in November, I think, back in the hotel. But oh, not good. good. Mm. Yes. Yeah, so. And Mitchell Pierce is very signed. Yeah. yeah. Mitchell Pierce very signed. That's some good news. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, the Beast, Bradman Best. Yeah. 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 Bradman oh. Beast, because the best is yet to come. Yes. I like it. Yes. Uh, but oh. in in Phoenix's defence, defense, I haven't seen too much about it. But he's a young kid. They're going to yeah. make mistakes. No. Just yeah. lay off him yeah. a bit. Don't want to comment yeah. on them more. Than nah. just Mentioned yeah, it to come out of the side. I thought he had a good game against he's, the, the he's uh, Storm. Yeah, he directed a couple of weeks back. Yeah. Yeah. Not sure what, yeah. not sure what he did, but everyone makes mistakes. Mate, there, he's Chin up, mate. He's You'll be right. Mate. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, but yeah, they're, they're like, there's not really much to talk about, is there? No, there's, there's like, not really. After after the weekend, mate, there'll be a lot to talk about. I'm pretty oh, sure. Round one, there'll be some controversy. There'll be something. So. What's your thoughts? So, well, nights by how many? Um, I'm thinking it's going to be close. Oh, 100%. Yeah. So, well, we're, we're, well we've got our up. special guest in. We might ask him yeah, what he's yeah. thought. So how do you think the Knights are going to go this week, Damien? Oh, I reckon it'll be a close one. I reckon Knights by 12. By 12? That's oh, not gosh. close. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll go six, by six then. Six. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, I will, I'd, I'd be happy with a one point win, to be honest. Hey, I reckon. A win's a win, I think. Okay, okay I'll, put it, I'll put it this way. Yeah. Are we going to see that flag waved a lot? Oh, yeah, we will. Yeah. So we're going to win nice. by a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Kurt Mann. Kurt Mann. Kurt Mann. Score a double. Yeah. 
Um, we don't know, wa waving the flag. Yeah. Oh, that flag will be double. waving, don't you? A double. A double. Oh, could be for a double. On you? Our special guest, our man, mate. He's our, he's our favourite. Right. Oh, I'm I'm loving him, so. I'll be ready. So, right. Yeah, what a top bloke. He is his champion, Kurt, man. Um, yeah. I'm oh, thinking like by six. So. Yeah. yeah. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, okay, you all put a prediction. I'm going to put Kurt, man, in for a try. Definitely for over for a try. I reckon seriously, but if he we're close to the line, so you know, ten out. Yep. He runs at the line. Yep. yep. He's over. Yep. I reckon he's. Got, I just. Sweet, eh? I just look at the bloke. I think he's got a lot of potential, yep. and he's not. I don't think he gets the raps he should. Mm. Yep. Um, but saying that. I don't want to put the mocker on him. Yeah, yeah. So, he's he's oh, coming into that age, mate. Right. He's, he's mm. twenty. Just turned twenty-eight. Yeah, 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 last week he, yeah. he's coming into his prime. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, 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 at so. his prime. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Well, that's my right. prediction then, mate, will be Tyson Zelda scoring his debut. Oh, game. how good with that? Oh, yeah. yeah. Imagine him. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's going to yeah. know what it's like to be in yeah. 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 a run yeah. out. You just imagine the crowd, like yeah. Yeah. of the crowd when he scores. Yeah, yeah. Jesse oh, when he makes it. Especially I like the look of Jesse. He had a couple of injuries when he was at the Dogs, which held him back a little bit. But mate, I remember him at the Tigers. He was a gun. Like oh, he, he was a dog's oh, yeah. big signing. Obviously, early, I was what, two years ago, three years ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, obviously, I was yeah. filthy. Not a bad filthy on Sione getting the outer. Yeah, we weren't going to mention that. But, but no, 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 no. <laughs> let's, let's talk about Sione. No, no, no. Yeah. no, no. <laughs> they, they brought him to replace him. Yeah, I like the look of him. Yeah, I really yeah. do. I think he. I think he's going to be great for us. Yeah. So um, the the other thing we haven't spoken about too, there was talk in the last couple of days, Edric Lee. Yeah, yeah. He's moving on, um, moving on, dogs. moving yeah. on. The dogs. At the end of the, end, year, end of the year. Yeah. yeah. If not earlier. If yeah. I hear the dogs are offers him a longer term. Deal. Dogs are yeah, sniffing. Right. Yeah, okay. Maybe overseas. Yeah, well, well, yeah, possible, I think he's still. He's, I think it's a dog. So I think the bulldog. Yeah, yeah. I've heard, I've heard, I've heard, it's an interesting call. I've, I've heard, heard the Orange play him. So I reckon the first hit up when he gets that ball, the crowd will just be on edge. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I tell you what, one thing I'll never forget. He's a nightmare. We'll be cheering for him. Well, oh, yeah. Yeah. that's right. Look at David Clemmer. David yeah. Clemmer in his first couple of games because yeah. sent ten in the Simbin. Remember yeah. that game? How, how many how yeah. many players have you seen get a standing ovation for ten in the Never seen anything like it. None at all. No. Convincing winners that night too. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. It was it was a pretty yeah. special moment. So. Yeah. Anyway, we'll wrap it up for the night. Just um, I'd like to also make mention to uh, Burger Urge. Uh, come on board as our new sponsor. So get out and taste some of their burgers. Seriously, if you haven't had any, you're missing out. Um, we're where, gonna where head out. They're at Green Hills yeah. and at um, yeah. Glendale, Glendale. Sorry. Yeah, right. Glendale I'll have to get out there. Oh, yeah, sensational burger. Try, yeah. We might have to hit them up about making a nighttime burger. Yeah. 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 Good. Get on them, yeah. Yeah. Sure. I'm doing That'd the bad dogs at the moment. I'm on the man shake. I might yeah, have to, yeah, I'm on. I might have to have a cheat day and go I'm, get a burger. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, uh, I've started the man shake, but then the wife makes me good <laughs> good lunch, so then I uh, cheat. I've been dumb. Anyway, that's us for yeah. the first week. Um, we'll yeah. be back next week, and um, we yeah. might even have you in the VIP seat if Val's back from Toy Story 9. Yeah. Um, you should be. But no, yeah. Damo and I. Yeah, Damo. Thanks for coming in, mate, and welcome ah, to the team. Yeah. Welcome to yeah, the team. And yeah, glad to be on. Yeah, I'd like to thank everyone involved. We've been setting up our set this year, too. We've spent a lot of time and... Yep. Effort on it, uh, Big Andy, Brendan, Gaz, we'll take a few photos and yeah, and the wife. Um, yeah, so everything's going to be. Oh, just stay tuned because honestly, you'll kick yourself if you don't. <laughs> anyway, that's us tonight. No yeah. worries. All right, so uh, till next time, catch you later. Go the night. Go the night. Up the night. Now